Hey guys, we're back playing the Final Fantasy 3, 6, whatever. And we're now in South Figaro, lagging for some strange reason. What, is the headset bothering you? Yeah, if you can't, if you can't tell, I have a new wonderful headset that loving B-Dude gave me, because he does that sort of thing. Yeah, don't talk to the armored soldiers at all. That's not a good idea. I don't need any of those. Yeah, so we're pretty good on that for now. What you need to do is you need to... Hey, hey, I'm a treasure hunter. Or I'll rip your lungs out. Yes, that's one of the... One of the awesome, I guess, tropes of this game is that... But all you want to do is you want to steal from this guy. And... It's probably going to make me take several tries, because that's what games like to do to me whenever I'm recording. Hey. Slowly tapping my foot patiently. There, and we get a plumed hat because of it. And this clothes! Ha ha ha. Alright. And we do Presto Changeo, and now we look like a merchant! And we're fighting a B-Day suit enemy, which I assume stands for birthday suit, and is sort of... Somehow we stole his clothes, but he's not naked. I don't understand it. Alright, now that we have this clothing, I think we can go through here. Because we can't walk around that soldier there. The one in the armor. Sir Richest Man Town, Merchant Right, you may proceed, yep. Yeah. We'll come back to that kid later, he's not done with the plot yet. Alright. Actually, is that, is that plumed hat, like, worth anything? What? Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize I was naked. This might be a bad idea, and it's entirely unnecessary, but... But now that we have that, we can't get by this brown soldier. So what we need to do is let the game flag itself because it's lame. See, because I have a headset, I can now hear the music and I can tell more when it's lagging because the music gets all weird. I swear, if it's that Java updater again, I'm going to punch this computer in its face. Can't get by that guy. So we needed to get, we needed to get the merchant's clothes to come around here because otherwise we couldn't get up here. Because our next destination is, in fact, up here. What is... What are you doing, computer? What is your problem? You were doing this yesterday. Or you were doing it this bad yesterday. And he's like, yeah, get out of here. And we're in another fight with an officer, soldier guy. I don't know why he's called an officer when the brown ones are clearly more important and superior, but... <sighs> really, game? You're just gonna keep doing this to me? One more time. Thank you. And from the... The green soldiers, we get tonics. And their uniform. He has some little unique thing to say, no matter what clothes you steal, because we will be changing clothes back and forth. But yeah. Now we're in a green empire uniform. Even though we hate it. Kind of, it's kind of necessary to continue on with the plot. Now we need to go back down here. And now that we have the green uniform, there's a couple places we can get by because we can just tell the brown soldiers to go fuck off! Like this guy. Hey. Get out of the way. Alright, now he's out of the way. 
Now remember, way back when we were here earlier, there was a guy who... I don't think that's in here. There was a guy who was whining about his delivery and how he had to deliver uh, cider to a certain person. I really don't know where... where is this nonsense? If you talk to any of these guys, you get in a for real fight with them, and you don't want to do that. Where? It has to be over on this side. Alright. Oh, it's down these other stairs. That is correct. We just mosey on down this way. And there is the other guy. Uh, you go up to him, and he's like, Hey, came to steal the cider? <laughs> you thief! And we're in a fight with another merchant. <sighs> You're really gonna make me take several tries every time. I've never gotten pretty much any of these on the first try, ever. I don't understand why I can't ever be that lucky. Apparently, second try is not the charm, either. Really? <sighs> Come on! I don't want to cut this out because it's kind of... It shouldn't take that long, but why is... And then you're probably all laughing and seeing me suffer and slowly die because this guy's plinking me for like six damage a turn. Oh, really? Thank you. Um, if you wanted to, you could run back and forth between the green soldier and this merchant, because they'll respawn when you don't have their clothes. They'll return to normal. I don't know how they get their clothes back from without you having to come back and, like, give them to them, but... And then you could thus farm plumed hats and tonics to your heart's content. I'm not gonna bother with that, because that's just kind of silly. But now that we have Merchant and the Cider, we can go back and give the Cider to the old man. And continue with the game. Uh, someone in town tells you that there's a secret passage out of the rich man's house that leads out of town, so that's how you, your clue of where you're supposed to go. And obviously the kid said that uh, his uncle or dad or grandpa, whoever is in this house, was a servant for the richest man in town, so he should know about it, right? Right. At least that's the excuse that I'm going with. It took me uh, quite some time when I was, you know, playing this game originally to figure that out. The secret passage. Yeah, the one leads to the rich man's house. Grandson, password. There is no... As far as I know, there is absolutely no clue that tells you what this password is. No in-game hint. You kind of just have to pick around until you get to... Just pick courage. I don't know. I honestly thought it was Rosebud the first time, and I'm like, oh, I guess that makes sense. And then I picked it, and he's like, wrong! And I was like, you little brat. And there's a tonic in that pot there. And we're going to go down. And this is going to take us over to the rich man's house, which is guarded by a Magitek armor, so we couldn't have ex or guarded by a soldier. We couldn't have gotten in here before. And you just grab this elixir and this clock. Check all clocks. Seriously, just do, just do it. I could have grabbed that earlier, but I didn't feel like it. And we're going to grab, I think there's something here, a phoenix down. And now we're inside the rich man's house, which has no music. And this is now the Imperial Headquarters. And you can't get out. I don't know why there's a guy guarding the door from the inside and the outside, but don't ask me. I'm not the Empire. If you talk to this guy, he just whines about how he sold his, uh, town out. Wait! What's that noise? 
I hear the wind noise. Yeah, yes, because behind this bookcase, there's a secret passage that leads into the basement. There is somebody in town that tells you that. I don't know who it is, and I'm not going to go try and find them, but yeah. Now we're down in the basement. Now, there's you can change clothes here, and he'll go back to his regular outfit. Or you can not. It really doesn't matter. All it affects is a little bit of dialogue, but I'm going to go to my normal clothes here. Huh? He stops at that door automatically. Empire Generals? And he's going to take a look in. Wow. Oh, hey, hey, what are you doing? Domestic violence! Oh, she's apparently a traitor. Oh, shit. And this is Celes. We will not be calling her Celes. We will be calling her... We will be calling her Sarah, because out of the, uh, no, no, out of, named after the YouTuber, uh, Suck a Punch, yay! Who probably doesn't watch this video and has no idea, but she's involved in the LP anyway. Uh, cowards, huh? There's more to that. Kafka, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, we need to go warn Doma. Don't worry, we'll get to that. And down she goes. Tomorrow, huh? Um. Oh, day. Oh, crap. That's gonna be one crack guard if you can go for days without sleep. But yeah, I don't know what the whole thing about tomorrow is. Maybe someone mentioned somewhere that they're gonna execute her or something. I don't know. That seems logical. But we gotta go in there and save her because I cannot let damsels be in distress. Oh, he's sleeping. Wow. Nothing in that pot there. Now, um, as far. What, from what I know from, like, the DS... Not the DS, the, uh, the Game Boy Advance version of this game and other ports of this game, they remove the fact that she's chained right here, and I don't understand why. It doesn't make any sense. It's like, it's okay for that guy to beat her up, but put her in chains, oh, that's just terrible. Common traitor, well, you should come with us. Of course. Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're better off here about to be executed? No. You're coming with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, wink. That sealed the deal there, that wink. Something important, huh? Well, let's, um, grab that. Clock key in his pocket? <laughs> because the no is stealing is wrong. And I took the clock key and he's like, oh! And... He mumbles something about bread and goes back to sleep. Somehow he managed to leap out of the chair while asleep. Uh, I believe this is just a save point. Yeah. Which I don't need, because I have save states. And this is another room. With a mini clock puzzle, I guess. With 500 GP in there. 1,000 GP in there. 1500 GP in there, and nothing. Wonderful. Thanks, game. Um, I don't know if these pots have anything. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Is there an elixir? Okay, that's... We'll worry about that later. That's the actual solution. We have to... I need to check this clock. Nothing? Alright. I believe this clock contains an elixir. Or wait, no. Let's just show you that the clock is one ticking, one not ticking. All right, fine. We'll go wind this clock here because she can't walk her way over there. Uh, yeah. And we get the exit. But there are monsters here. So we're going to need to be prepared and be careful. And we can look at Sarah. Give her the rune edge. Give her a buckler. I think she's a plume hat. And leather armor. And yeah, Sarah is a sword user who has a special command that we'll get into later because it's going to become very pertinent to the plot. But that's it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Next time we will continue on trying to escape from South Figaro and hopefully actually do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, everybody. Thank you to B-Dude for this wonderful headset. And have a good night.